What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Corey if we haven't met yet. On my channel we go over tech reviews, gear reviews, and sometimes even tips and tricks videos just like this one. So if that sounds interesting, consider subscribing down below. And while you're down there, if you can hit the thumbs up on this video, that'd be greatly appreciated and it really helps the channel out. And while you're down there, throw a comment on there and let me know if you know any of these tips and tricks or maybe if I missed some, let me know in the comment section below. So today I'm gonna go over 10 things you may or may not know that you can do with your MacBook. I'm gonna be using my M1 MacBook Air that I got a couple weeks ago. I did a video on this laptop a couple weeks ago, so if you guys wanna check that video out, I'll leave that linked right here. Make sure you guys watch this video the whole way through. I've been using a MacBook for like five years now, and I didn't even know that you can do some of these things. So make sure you guys watch the whole way through. I'm also gonna be throwing a bonus tip in at the end. I will catch you guys in the tips. Let's go. So most of you guys know you can use the function keys up here to adjust volume as well as your brightness. But did you know if you hit option, shift, and then one of those buttons, it allows you to do micro adjustments. All right, so I find this next tip extremely useful and I didn't even know you can do this one. So you can actually screen record on your iPhone. Everyone knows that. You pull down, you hit the little screen record button and it records your screen. So then normally what you have to do is upload that video to your computer if you wanna use that anywhere else, um, if you don't wanna use it from your phone. So what you can actually do is if you plug your phone in via lightning cable to your computer, here's what you can do with it. Once you have your phone plugged in with the USB, with the lightning cable, you go to QuickTime Player, and the way you can get to that is Command, Spacebar, and then you type in QuickTime Player, hit Enter, you can close out of this. You go up to File, and then what you do is you click on New Movie Recording. The default is gonna be your camera, your webcam. So you hit this little carrot down here, you change it to iPhone, when you change it to iPhone, it's gonna record your screen. And then what you can do is you can actually save right on, oh, well, there's, there's my phone being recorded. There's a little same a little plug of my, my Twitter. Make sure you guys go follow me on Twitter. Um, so you can screen record, you can hit the little record button right here. It'll start actually recording this. And then once you are done, you hit stop, and you can play it. Button right here, it'll start actually recording this. And then instead of having to send your recording over from your phone, it's right on your desktop already. All right, so this next feature has been around for a little bit and you guys may or may not know it. So using your iPhone as well, you don't have to have it plugged in this time. I don't know if it even makes a difference if you have it plugged in, but not plugged in, if you go onto your computer and you right click, if you right click, you go to import from iPhone and then you can take a picture with your iPhone. So I'm gonna take a picture with my iPhone. Just took a picture. I'm gonna use that photo and it's gonna save right here. And you can pull that photo up. So I think a lot of you guys know you can do that. But you can also do the same thing, import, scan a document. So if you need to scan, let's say you printed out something for work and now you need to scan that document, you can again pull up a scanner on your phone, scan that document, and then it will actually take a scan of whatever you're trying to show, whatever you're trying to scan puts it down in the corner, you can save it. And then again, here you can see it's popped up as a PDF. And there you go. You can use your doc, you can use your phone to scan different documents. Now, another cool trick that you can do with PDF. So let's actually skip to this one now that I have a PDF open. So whenever you have a PDF open, you can actually go right here. So if you go under this little marker tool, hit the marker tool, and then hit this button right here. You can now sign different documents. So if you have something that was emailed over to you, you have it signed as a, you have it sent over as a PDF and you need to sign that document, let's say it's something for work or let's say you're buying a house, I don't know, and you need to sign those documents, you can go pull up the PDF, go under the little marker tool, hit the sign, the signature button here, 
You can use, again, your camera on your iPhone. You can use the camera on your webcam and actually hold up. You can sign a piece of paper and hold it up to your camera, or you can use the trackpad to sign it as well. So that's a cool little feature as well. All right, so let's just stick to using screen recordings and things along those lines. So you guys may or may not know this. If you hit Command, Shift, and three, it'll take a screenshot, and you can see it puts it down in the bottom right-hand corner, and then there's your screenshot. But did you know, and maybe you guys knew that, maybe you didn't, but if you hit Command, Shift, and five at the same time, it actually allows you to adjust the window that you're looking to record so it doesn't just have to be the entire screenshot. So the entire screen. So if you only want to screenshot this piece right here, you can then adjust it and then you can screenshot just that piece right there. All right, so let's hop back over to the computer so I can show you our next tip. I actually kind of did this on purpose and I added all of these different documents on my desktop. I absolutely hate having a messy desktop. You take two fingers, you right click, you hit what's called use stack. So what that will do is that'll put all of your alike items into a stack. So it cleans up your desktop. And you can actually group stacks by, by different tags, by shared by, last open date. I have everything shared, I have everything stacked by the same kind. So you can see this is what it looks like when you're using stack. And if you are not using stacks, you can see what the difference is. So I like using stacks whenever I have multiple stuff on my desktop and it puts everything in the PDF folders, images, movies, screenshots, and then if you have different folders down here as well. All right, let's move on to the next tip. I hope you guys are getting some value out of this. If you are, if you could please hit the thumbs up button, drop a comment below, let me know if you guys knew any of these. If I'm missing anything so far, let me know in the comment section below. Again, if you are new, if you could hit subscribe, that'd be fantastic. All right, let's get into the next tip. So I'm using a pretty cool feature and it's called Hot Corners. So if you have your mouse here and you pull it down to the right. So I have my right corner set up for quick notes. So you can see if I pull to the right, right down here, a quick note's gonna pop up. And then if I pull to the left, it puts my computer in screensaver mode. And then if I pull up to the right, it shows me my desktop. So let me show you that in action real quick. So if I pull up a document here, actually let's just pull one of these documents back up. So I'll pull this up and I pull up to the top right hand corner. You can see it shows me my desktop. And you just can hit escape or click on the items. And if you pull up to the top right, it will show you your desktop. So you can actually customize your hot corner. So let me show you how to do that. You go into system preferences. You're gonna start here and it's in such a weird spot, but you go to desktop and screen savers. Then you hit hot corners right here. And then you can see the ones that I have set up already. So my bottom right hand corner is for a quick note. Bottom left hand corner is to start screen saver and top left hand corner is for the desktop. Now let's add something to the top right hand corner. So let's do um, so let's do this one right here. Let's do the launch pad. So if I do launch pad, hit OK, and then I pull my mouse to the top right hand corner, you can see it is bringing up my launch pad. So that's hot corners. Let's move on to the next one. All right. So the next one is something that I didn't think I was going to use nearly as much, but I've noticed I've been using it a lot and it's absolutely fantastic. Use your three fingers. Here's what you do and you can just pull your document or your application with just three fingers instead of having to click and then use this and, and do all this crazy stuff. You can use three fingers, pull, and then it also allows you to move, pull things into the corner, make it half screen, full screen using your three fingers. Let me show you how to set this up. From settings, you're gonna to go to accessibility. Where's accessibility? There we go. You're gonna click on accessibility. You're gonna scroll down until you see pointer control. You're gonna click on that. And then right here, trackpad options. Click on trackpad options, enable dragging. And then right here, you can use three fingers. You can also do a drag with lock and you can do one without locking. But again, three finger drag and then it allows you to use your three fingers 
and you can drag your windows around with just three fingers. All right guys, so I'm down to my last two tips, but again, I'm gonna be doing a bonus tip, so make sure you watch this the rest of the way through. Let's get into it. So to get in the spotlight, you hit Command Spacebar, and then once you're in the spotlight search, you can actually do unit conversions. So let's say you wanna, com you wanna convert 50 pounds into kilograms, you can see it's already going to actually populate that right there for you. And you can see 50 pounds equals 20.68 kilograms. It also works, let's say you wanna do six ounces, you can convert that into pounds, you can also convert that into cups, and it'll actually do the spotlight calculations right there for you. And you can see it even shows you on the right hand side some additional options as well. So let's do another one. Let's do 800, actually let's do 235 pounds into kilograms. And you can see, if you hit enter, you can see it will show you what that looks like in kilograms. So that's a pretty useful one if you are cooking or you just wanna do a quick conversion. I think it does money as well. Let's try this. We're actually gonna try this out together, guys. So let's say $700. It does. All right, so you can do dollars as well. So if you do $700, you can convert that into euros, British pounds, you can do all these different conversions. A really useful one for people in America is gonna be this Canadian as well. So you can see $700 equals $895 in Canadian dollars. So that's pretty cool. All right, so admittedly, you guys may know this last one, but I actually had to search this myself so if you are on a window so let's say you want to do these two windows and you want to do split screen so if you go to the map if you go to the window key right here you can actually just hover over it so don't click it just hover over it and then tile window to the left side and then if there is an option for the other window it will pop up and you can hover right over it you can click on it and then it will go split screen for you guys. Again, you may know that one, but that's something I didn't know, so I wanted to throw it into the video for you. All right, guys, so here's the bonus tip. It does require you to download an app, but if you download this app called Rectangle right here, you click on this, it allows you to one, set up short hands on your keyboard to put a window in split screen, but you can also do top right hand corner top left hand corner and all you have to do let me show you let me demonstrate this real quick so if you get into something like this pull this say you have a couple different windows open i don't even know what this document is say you have a couple a uh, couple windows open you can go up to the top right hand corner click on the document that you want and then you can go top left corner and then you can click on the next one and you can say top right hand corner. And then if you had a third one, you can do like the bottom left hand corner. All right guys, so those were my 10, 10.5 tips that hopefully you didn't know you can do with a MacBook. I am gonna be doing a, another series on 10 things that you didn't know you can do with your iPhone. So again, if you guys aren't subscribed, make sure you're subscribed with the bell notification on so you don't miss that video. And if this video does well or you guys want more tips, let me know in the comment section below. I will come out with some more tips and tricks and I'll continue this series if you guys like it, if you're getting some value out of it. So I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.